The final round of the Middle East Rally Championship, the Dubai International Rally, would start from the Imar Boulevard. Sheikh Majid bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum with Mohammed bin Salim flagging off the drivers. A festive atmosphere belied the fact that this championship was still wide open. It would be a fantastic finale to the 2009 season. Nasser al Atiyah and Giovanni Bernaccini, who had won the previous rounds in Cyprus and Jordan, needed to win this event or finish in second in order to take the championship. It started badly. After the second stage, the Qatari had lost the sump guard and damaged the front end of the car, requiring some frenzied and unorthodox mechanical work. Saudi Yazid Al Raji would move briefly into the lead in the Peugeot 207, but his championship hopes ended in the fifth special stage. The UAE driver Sheikh Abdullah Al Qasimi with the UK's Steve Lancaster would start in second position, a place they would defend until the end. Lancaster finishing third overall in the co-drivers championship. Qatari Misbah Al Murray with Chris Patterson were one of the teams who could possibly take the championship title, but Murray would have to settle for third overall, enough to give him second in the series. Undoubtedly, the talking point of this event was the sixth car to start. Rashid Al Kepi and Khalid Al Kendi dropped over 20 minutes in the first stage after smoke and water entered the car. After that, though, the pocket rocket Skoda S2000 announced its arrival in the Middle East in impressive fashion, winning eight of the event's nine stages. Ketby, after dropping to 18th after the first stage, would fight back into sixth. The new team delighted with their debut. After breaking the rear suspension in the early part of the rally, Nick Giorgio and Joseph Matter would drop to the back of the field. But coast to victory in the Pirelli Star driver competition after their nearest rival, Kuwaiti Mishari al Thafiri, retired. Khalid al Sawedi and Nikki Beach would add to their impressive finishes in 2009, completing the event in fourth. While Amjad Farah, up into fourth after the first day, would eventually go on to finish in seventh. But in the end, Nasser al Atir would regain the lead and ease into his fifth win of the season. In front of the tallest building in the world, the Burj Dubai, Rashid Al Ketbi and Khalid Al Kendi finished as the highest UAE team in sixth, serving notice that they would be a force to be reckoned with in 2010. Misfa Al Murray and Chris Patterson finished in third, Patterson winning the co-driver's title for the sixth year. While Abdullah Al Qasimi and Steve Lancaster claimed second, their best result in 2009 while Nasser al Atiyah and Giovanni Bernaccini won the Dubai International and in doing so claimed victory in the Middle East Rally Championship 2009, al Atiyah's sixth win of the series.